Hi, and thanks for joining us this week for our Love Your Home Renovation Tip of the Week, brought to you by Multi-Trade Building Services. I'm your host, Jackie Stezik, and I'm the Project Manager and Marketing Director. Every week, we'll be talking to you about general renovations, kitchens, bathrooms, interior design, and more. So be sure to check back every week. This week, we're going to be talking about our favorite Benjamin Moore Whites. Now, our favorite ones, there's basically five that we tend to gravitate to when we're making color suggestions to our clients. Chantilly Lace, Simply White, Cloud White, Decorator's White, and White Dove. And every one of those are great choices, but each one is more specific to warm or cool in most cases and has certain specific um, qualities of them. So let's kind of explore each one individually. Let's get started with White Dove. This is one of my favorites in a bathroom. White Dove is OC17 for Benjamin Moore and it has a bit of a creamy yellow undertone, but it also has a grayish base. So it is a soft white. Now, if you haven't heard the term grayish, that has been around for about a year now, and it's basically a mixture of gray and beige. It's what everyone is gravitating to this year because gray is kind of slowly on its way out. Beige is starting to make a comeback, but not in a huge way. So grayish, a mixture of gray and beige is starting to become very popular. And because White Dove has that grayish base, it becomes more of a softer white as opposed to a really strong warm white. This is a really great trim color as well. We use this quite a bit. So here's a couple of pictures. Now, I know when you're looking at a computer screen, you don't really, or even on your phone, if you're looking on your phone, you don't really get a good sense of what this looks like but it still kind of shows you a couple of applications. And as you listen to the rest of this video and watch it, you'll see, I'll be showing you different photos. And yeah, you're gonna say, geez, all of those whites look all the same to me. Well, that's because you're looking at them on a computer or your phone, and it's not really gonna differentiate a lot, but believe me, there is a huge difference between all of them. As I said, White Dove, it's one of my favorites for a bathroom. It keeps everything very clean and white. And particularly if you've opted for a little bit darker floor and a darker vanity, White Dove is spectacular. It just brings to life the whole bathroom. Next one we're going to look at is Simply White. It's OC117. This one has a definite yellow undertone. However, it is more of a truer white if you're looking for one of those true whites. Simply White is fabulous for kitchen cabinets unless you're planning to do a marble looking countertop. So even if you're doing quartz, but you know how you want those gray veins and it almost looks a bit marbly. If you're doing that, you may not want to select Simply White for your kitchen cabinets because of that yellow undertone. It's not going to look fabulous with that gray. But there are still tons of uses for Simply White. Let's take a look at a couple of photos here. In an entranceway, Particularly if your entranceway is a little bit dark, simply white on the walls and trim, wow, that can completely brighten up the space. And you'll see actually both of these photos have simply white in them. And it's really nice and bright and really brings that space to life. Chantilly Lace. Now this is one of my favorites, especially for people who want a white kitchen. It's OC65 is the code for Benjamin Moore, and there are no undertones in this color. It is truly one of the whitest whites out there on the market today. So if you want a true white that's white, white, no undertones, no purple undertones, no yellow undertones, the whole bit, Chantilly Lace is one of the best ones for you. The code for Benjamin Moore is OC65. And it really, it, it's known to be like a fresh and clean color with a lot of flexibility. As you can imagine, Chantilly Lace will look fabulous with pretty much any color. Now I've done the background of this one in, the, in a pale blue and you can see how with that pale blue, it kind of brings out a little bit of cool tones to it. If I were to put a red or an orange or a yellow background to it, this would almost look a little bit yellow. This is a, is a fabulous color. It just is so flexible with any color at all. You'll see here that it's been used in a bathroom with a gray vanity. Again, nice and bright and clean looking. 
This bathroom was decorated in grays, blacks, and whites, very sharp tones, very dramatic, very bold colors. And that white on those walls just looks spectacular. And check out the photo on the right here of the living room. This one was a great white to use on the walls because this couple, they're very colorful. They have the big, bold, emerald green chairs. They like the big blue sofas, bold colors. And that white isn't a distraction. That white on the walls is simply the color on the walls and it allows their artwork, their furniture to shine through. So Chantilly Lace is great for that. Let's look at Decorator's White. Now this is CC20 and gets used a lot if people want more of a cool white. This particular color has undertones of gray and purple and you'll notice I put this one on a purple background and you can actually see the purple undertones in that white. This is your true cool white color. But again, it is also a real white white. So it is not one where it's gonna look ivory or off white. When you use decorators white, you're gonna see that it is a true white. We don't too often use this in kitchen cabinets though, because it can look a little bit cold, um, depending especially on whether it's a north facing window and such in, in your um, kitchen. But decorators white is a great one that we use a lot for trims. I have used it in rooms as well, especially when you want that cool white tone. You'll see here, we did use it in the kitchen. Now this was, um, this was an odd instance where the, we wanted to use it in the kitchen because there was so much wood on the floor that was warm undertones and it just made it look too warm looking. And this couple wanted it to be fresh and clean and it was a great choice for them in the kitchen. We don't too often do it unless it works well. Because this one was warm wood floors, it was a great option. And the picture on the left is actually an entryway into a client's home as well. Again, they had lots of colorful vases and flowers and books and other accessories that they wanted to put out there that they wanted to have as the focal point. So a nice decorator's white was a perfect background for the, uh, the walls. Next is cloud white. Anybody who's worked with Benjamin Moore has probably heard of cloud white and has probably used it at some point or other. Its code is OC130 and it has definite soft cream yellow undertones. It's definitely a warm color, but it is with a neutral base. So it's not excessively warm and won't look yellow wherever you use it. Cloud white is often used on ceilings, on casing, baseboard, crown molding. And it's also really, really good with earth tones and other warm colors as well. So you'll see here, if you look at the photo on the left, there's a lot of earth tones in that photo. You'll see their artwork has the brown frames and even the colors in that artwork that's above the mantle is all earth tones. Even the carpet has browns and dark browns and espresso. Even the items that they have on their coffee table, all earth tones. And the cloud white just looks fabulous in that area. Now, because it has the neutral base though, it also does work with some cool colors. So look at the photo on the right. This is also some warm tones. We've got some furniture that's in the browns. We've got some artwork, the frames in the browns, but we've also got some books on the coffee table in blue and the coffee table itself is blue. So this color still works in whenever there's some cool colors around it because it has that neutral base as well. It really is a wonderful color that is frequently used by decorators everywhere. If you'd like a cheat sheet of these great white paint colors, just send me an email to info at multitradebuildingservices.com and in the subject line, write L-Y-H whites and we'll send you the free cheat sheet download. So again, if you want that, that free cheat sheet, you'll have all the paint colors we've discussed today and a brief little summary of it. That will help you when you're going to the paint store to try and pick out what you want. Get that cheat sheet by sending us an email, info at multitradebuildingservices.com with LYH Whites in the subject line and you'll get the free download. Thanks very much for joining us for this week's Love Your Home Renovation Tip of the Week. You can reach us by phone at 905-259-3344 or at info at multitradebuildingservices.com. Thanks and we'll see you next week when we help you learn to love your home.